What drives me in the quest to improve maternity care in California is the thousands of mothers who deliver here every day. Our goal in the end is healthy mothers and healthy babies. Over the last 15 years, California has seen a dramatic rise in maternal mortality and maternal morbidity and a sharp increase in the rate of cesarean section by 50% and the rate of elective inductions by 50%. This has been without any demonstrable increase in baby safety or improved baby outcomes. While these numbers are certainly very concerning, most hospitals and physicians have no clue about their exact statistics and where they stand compared to their peers. When you look at the variation among California hospitals, it's dramatic. We think the major difference is how labor is managed. I'm the medical director of the California Maternal Quality Care Collaborative, and we started the California Maternal Data Center three years ago with three main purposes. First, to make it easy for hospitals to collect quality measures in obstetrics, including early elective deliveries, antenatal steroids, first birth C-section rates, and a wide range of additional ones. Second, to do benchmarking for all the hospitals of California. And third, to drive quality improvement in maternity care. We as physicians can see where the issues are and have the feedback that will guide quality improvement. One of the key advantages of the California Maternal Data Center is that we use existing clinical data from the birth certificate and the patient discharge diagnosis file. These are collected on every single mother in California, and this is a perfect example of a tool that maximizes efficiencies and saves costs and improves outcomes at the same time. As a chairman who has worked with over 100 OBGYNs, I have been impressed with their willingness to pitch in when they see their numbers are different from others. And we have been able to improve in a number of the hospitals we've worked at their rates of cesarean delivery and improve their baby outcomes.